All right. Hey, everybody. We're about to start. And uh, I'm here live at SECA with the great Dr. Damon Durker. Welcome. Good seeing you. Good to see you, Alan. Thanks for doing this today. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. Back, on, about on the, back out on the conference track. It's very exciting. I uh, didn't remember how to pack or how to get to the airport. Uh, it was definitely different from the days where we were running and going all the time. I'm sure I'll get that back soon enough. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But uh, anyhow, welcome. And we're here today to talk about the 4C at home monitoring program. And uh, I guess to start, um, Dr. Durker is with Eye Surgeons of Indiana. Correct. As partner in the practice and uh, industry legend uh, speaker. And he's heavily involved with this new high tech device that we're going to talk about today. So, you know, we're hearing a lot about digital healthcare these days. And a lot of us may not know what that is. I know it's tied to artificial intelligence. Can you tell us a little bit about yeah. what that is and about how the 4C at home monitoring program works within that? So digital health, when we're looking at you know, in eye care and specifically a, a disease like AMD, that's a blinding disease, is how do we leverage technology with remote monitoring, AI to improve our patient outcome? And in order to do that, in order to have these things that are going to allow us to take care of a patient, not just in our lane, you have to have a digital health provider. And that's what the Notel Vision Monitoring Service is. The Monitoring Center allows uh, patients to be connected to optometrists through remote monitoring and AI to potentially improve their outcomes in high-risk AMD. That's, that's really neat. Now, how, how does the 4C program work within that? In that uh, technology. So the No Television Monitoring Center has a 4C Home, which is a device that is used by a patient that has intermediate AMD or high risk dry AMD, and it helps to actually detect the conversion from dry to wet. So when we are looking at patients that have AMD, we've got 14 million people in the U.S. with AMD. High risk patients that have intermediate disease, where they have large drus in RPE changes. Normally you're seeing that patient every six to 12 months, you're doing an OCT, maybe a photo, but what happens between those visits, right? Well, we give them an answer grid. Answer grid's not very great at detecting early change. It can detect catastrophic change, but we really want to understand if somebody is converting from dry to wet, we want to catch that right away. So what 4C Home is, is a device that uses um, AI to uh, test patients at home to detect subtle changes in their visual field, metamorphosia, that could indicate that they've gone from dry to wet. And the digital health provider, No Tall Vision, is linked with this device that the patient has at home and is constantly getting information. So they're the ones that are monitoring the patient. If something changes and the patient starts to have distortion, metamorphosia, that's the AI detects as being significant, then what happens is my office gets an alert that you know Mrs. Smith has a change in her right eye and her superior field. I get an email along with my technician. We call, we bring the patient in, we do an OCT. And in some cases we find that they've actually converted from dry to wet. The patient doesn't even have any symptoms yet, but the home monitoring helps to actually pick that up. And it's really critical that as optometrists that we embrace this. You know, there's probably 500,000 of these patients in optometry practices right now that would benefit from 4C home because if we can catch that really early and we preserve their vision, they're gonna have a better long-term outcome. They're gonna need less injections. They're gonna have a better chance of maintaining functional vision. What the reality is in the US right now is if you get diagnosed with wet AMD, what do you think your acuity is when you first get treated? On average? On average. average. Yeah, I would say 2,400. 28 is 28, 28. right? My patient population, 2025, 20, 2030, because I'm being very proactive in monitoring these patients. I see them every six months, we're doing OCTs, but importantly, they're monitoring at home every day with this device called the 4C Home. So then if there's a change, I know it immediately. It's picked up by the AI, we bring the patient in and they have better outcomes. I actually had one this week where the patient is monitoring at home. I've got probably a hundred patients that are using the technology. They're monitoring at home. They're not aware of any change in symptoms, but it found something in the superior field of this patient's right eye. Brought him in. Fortunately, it was just a little bit of atrophic change. It had not converted to wet. 
but it was subtle enough that it actually picked it up on the AI with the 4C home. Patients relieved, hey, we're being very proactive. This is actually a practice builder because yeah. the patients are very engaged. They, they know Dr. Durker is doing everything that he has in his toolbox to be able to 